Could you imagine playing on the pitch as a six-year-old one day and having all of your friends killed by a missile strike on that same pitch the very next day? This was a reality for young Edin Dzeko, who grew up in Sarajevo during the Bosnian War. His mother, Belma, feared for his safety. This is where she once even refused to let him out, and her decision spared him from a bomb that destroyed the field he would have been playing on. The path to stardom for many footballers often begins on well-maintained fields, kicking a pristine ball from dawn to dusk. Scouts notice their talent, and soon they're on the fast track to elite academies and the big leagues. But for Edin Dzeko, his journey started in an entirely different field. Growing up in Sarajevo during the Bosnian War, Dzeko's training ground was a war-torn cityscape, scarred by relentless attacks. The pitch was generally a patch of uneven ground with barely a blade of grass, and the ball was often nothing more than duct tape scraps. Amidst the chaos, Dzeko clung to his love for the game, using football as an escape from the horrors around him. For him, football wasn't about fame or fortune. It was means of survival, a defiance of the dark reality around him. The war was devastating. Sarajevo endured nearly four years of siege. Edin's family lived in the heart of it, moving between shelters and surviving on minimal food, while their home and thousands of others were destroyed. Like all other hardships, it finally passed. And as Yugoslavia's political landscape crumbled, Bosnia's love for football endured. Dzeko began his career with FK Zeljeznikar Sarajevo, Bosnia's most successful club. But his career didn't take off immediately. At first, fans labeled him clock, meaning log, mocking his tall, awkward playing style and lack of technical flair. He played as a midfielder, but his lanky frame and unrefined skills kept him on the margins of the sport. Yet, a coach named Yuri Plizek saw a gift in the young midfielder. Dzeko later moved to FK Teplis in the Czech Republic for a modest 25,000 euros, an investment that soon seemed like a jackpot as he blossomed. This step was monumental. For a modest fee, he left his hometown and his role as a midfielder behind, finding success as a striker. His scoring ability shone in the Czech Republic, where he honed his instinct for goal. Wolfsburg's manager, Felix Magath, noticed his potential and signed him for 4 million euros, which catapulted him onto the European stage. When Edin Dzeko joined Wolfsburg in 2007, he was already showing flashes of potential. Within his first 11 Bundesliga games, he scored five goals and recorded three assists, earning him the title of the league's best striker in the first half of the season. Wolfsburg, riding on his efforts, finished fifth in the league, securing a UEFA Cup spot for the following season a remarkable achievement. Dzeko ended his debut season with eight goals and seven assists across 17 starts, but this was only the beginning. With the arrival of fellow Bosnian Misimovic in the 2008-2009 season took Dzeko's performance to the next level. Misimovic's creativity in the midfield unleashed Dzeko's full potential. By the mid-season break, Dzeko had five goals and seven assists, and after the break, he went on an absolute tear, scoring 21 goals in the remaining matches. During Wolfsburg's incredible 10-match winning streak from February to April, Dzeko notched 11 goals and an assist. The season's highlight included two hat-tricks, first against Hoffenheim, and then two weeks later against Hanover 96. Dzeko's total league tally for the season reached 26 goals with 10 assists, making him the second highest scorer in the Bundesliga, only trailing his teammate Grafit. Together with Misimovic, they formed the infamous Magic Triangle, setting records and making history. Misimovic broke the Bundesliga assist record with 20, beating a seemingly unstoppable strike duo that took Wolfsburg to the top. Wolfsburg's most significant game that season came against Bayern Munich, a 5-1 thrashing that saw Dzeko and Grafit each scoring twice. Wolfsburg climbed to the top of the table on that day and held onto first place to win their first ever Bundesliga title, finishing two points clear of Bayern. Dzeko's scoring prowess wasn't limited to the Bundesliga. He added six goals in the DFB Pokal and contributed four goals and two assists in the UEFA Cup. At season's end, he was named Bundesliga Players Footballer of the Year, 
Though heavily courted by AC Milan, Dzeko chose loyalty, signing a contract extension with Wolfsburg until 2013. The following season, Dzeko proved his mettle on the European stage, scoring against Manchester United at Old Trafford in the UEFA Champions League. His achievements earned him a nomination for the 2009 Ballon d'Or, marking him as one of the world's elite players. In the 2009-10 season, he went on to claim the Bundesliga Golden Boot with 22 goals, proving his consistency and dominance in front of goal. By August 2010, Dzeko had surpassed Diego Klimowicz to become Wolfsburg's all-time leading scorer, with 59 goals in just 96 appearances. As the 2010-11 season unfolded, Dzeko continued his prolific scoring, netting 10 goals in 17 games by the winter break. His reputation as a relentless goal machine was now undeniable. Dzeko's move to Manchester City in January 2011 was a high-profile transfer, with manager Roberto Mancini confirming the deal at a fee of £27 million, making it City's second-highest transfer fee after Robinho signing. This was not only a major transfer for City, but also broke records in the Bundesliga and set a new high for Bosnian and former Yugoslavian players. After completing his medical and officially joining the club on a four and a half year deal, Dzeko quickly began making an impact on the pitch. In his City debut, Dzeko set up Yaya Toure for a key goal in a 4-3 victory over Wolverhampton Wanderers. He then made his mark in the FA Cup, scoring a critical equalizer against Notts County and adding another in the replay. European play brought more goals, with Dzeko netting twice against Eris Solanica. And in April, he scored his first Premier League goal with a decisive strike against Blackburn Rovers, sealing a 1-0 victory. Dzeko's contributions helped City secure third place and a Champions League qualification spot. Starting his second season with a bang, Dzeko scored in the Community Shield against Manchester United and shortly after netted an impressive four goals in a single Premier League match against Tottenham, a feat that earned him Player of the Month for August. Key goals continued throughout the season, including a crucial header against Wigan to maintain City's lead over rivals United and another in the Europa League against Porto. As the season closed, Dzeko's most unforgettable moment came on the last day against Queen's Park Rangers, where he scored a dramatic equalizer in stoppage time, setting the stage for Sergio Aguero's legendary winner to secure City's first league title in 44 years. Dzeko started the following season strong, opening City's Champions League campaign with a goal against Real Madrid and adding several match-winning goals off the bench. His knack for late heroics earned him the nickname Super Sub, highlighted by goals against Fulham, West Brom, and Tottenham that secured vital wins. He didn't love the nickname Super Sub, though. He closed the 2012-13 season with 15 goals, cementing his role as a key striker. In the 2013-14 season, Dzeko thrived under new manager Manuel Pellegrini, scoring his 50th English league goal and notching two in a crucial Manchester Derby win over United. His season was full of important moments, like his brace in a 3-2 win over Everton, and two goals against Aston Villa that set City on course for another Premier League title. His efforts helped propel City to the top, and his consistent form played a critical role in City's title triumph. Following this success, Dzeko signed a new four-year contract with City in August of 2014. He opened the 2014-15 season by assisting David Silva's goal and continued with two goals against Sheffield Wednesday in the League Cup, followed by another brace in a league win over Hull City. Dzeko's time with City was filled with thrilling highlights, cementing his status as one of the Premier League's impactful forwards. As impactful as he was though, he was seemingly never appreciated during his time, always playing second fiddle. In August of 2015, Edin Dzeko moved from Manchester City to AS Roma, initially on a 4 million euro loan with an 11 million euro option to buy, which became mandatory by October after Dzeko met certain performance conditions. He scored his first goal for Roma in a memorable 2-1 win over Juventus. Despite a relatively quiet first season, netting only 8 goals in Serie A and 10 in all competitions, Dzeko rebounded with an outstanding 2016-2017 season, tallying 39 goals in total and becoming the Serie A top scorer with 29 goals. 
His goal scoring form continued to break records as he became the first Roma player to reach 33 goals in a season across all competitions. In the 2017-18 season, Dzeko continued his impressive performance, opening with six goals in five league matches and a noticeable brace against Chelsea in a 3-3 Champions League draw. He was crucial in Roma's Champions League campaign, scoring the decisive goal against Shakhtar Donetsk to advance Roma to the quarterfinals, and then scoring in both legs against Barcelona, helping Roma reach the semifinals for the first time in over 30 years. He finished the season as Roma's top scorer with 24 goals, including 16 in Serie A and 8 in the Champions League. Dzeko began the 2018-19 season by scoring a last-minute winner against Torino and followed it up with a Champions League hat-trick against Victoria Polson, becoming the first Bosnian player to achieve this feat in Europe's top competition. In the 2019-20 season, he extended his contract with Roma until 2022 and continued his contributions despite an injury setback from a fractured cheekbone in October, which required surgery and led him to play with a protective mask. And you know what happens when a player dons that mask. He reached his 200th appearance for Roma in December 2019 and finished the season as a key figure in the squad. In 2021, Dzeko joined Inter Milan, where he quickly scored in a 4-0 victory over Genoa. In the Champions League semifinals, he scored a memorable volley against AC Milan, becoming the second oldest player to score in the semifinals at 37. Dzeko's Inter career ended on a high note as he played in the UEFA Champions League final against his former club, Manchester City, although Inter ultimately fell short with a 1-0 loss. On June 22, 2023, Dzeko transferred to Fenerbahce in Turkey's Super League, signing a two-year contract. He debuted as team captain and scored a goal along with two assists in a Europa Conference League match, leading his team to a 5-0 win. He actually finished his debut season with 21 goals, ranking as Fenerbahce's top scorer and second in the league behind Mauro Icardi. Edin Dzeko's international career has been marked by numerous historic achievements that have solidified his status as a Bosnian football legend. During the 2010 World Cup qualifiers, Dzeko's nine goals made him the second highest scorer in UEFA qualification, bringing Bosnia within reach of their first World Cup appearance. By September 8, 2012, Dzeko had become Bosnia's all-time leading scorer after scoring his first international hat-trick, surpassing Elvir Bolic with his 24th goal for the national team. Dzeko's impact continued to grow during the 2014 World Cup qualifiers, where his 10 goals were instrumental in leading Bosnia to qualify for their first World Cup ever. In the final group stage match, he scored Bosnia's first ever World Cup goal in a 3-1 victory over Iran. His scoring prowess continued, and on March 28, 2017, Dzeko became the first Bosnian player to reach 50 international goals, a milestone underscoring his enduring contributions. Edin Dzeko's journey from the war-torn streets of Sarajevo to the heights of European football is nothing short of inspirational. Through the darkest of times, he found solace and purpose in the beautiful game, using it as a means of survival and a way to defy the horrors around him. Despite the odds, Dzeko's unwavering determination and relentless goal-scoring prowess carried him to the top. From being dismissed as a log to becoming one of the most prolific strikers in Europe, his story stands as a powerful testament to the transformative power of the sport. Even now, at 38 years old, Dzeko continues to excel, proving that with passion and an unbreakable spirit, anything is possible. His legacy as a Bosnian football legend is undeniable and his journey will continue to inspire generations of players who dream of rising above adversity to reach the pinnacle of the game. Dzeko's life and career stand as an inspiring example to all who face adversity, showing that through the beautiful game, anything is possible.